all right what's up guys it's your boy mike hawk here and today um you know got a new mic i mean i've been had this mic but you know it's like good now i'm using it um but uh this today i'm going to be doing a q a uh like most of the questions you guys been asking like how to do stuff how to export how to do all that stuff i'm not going to be going over every question but i'll be going over a lot that most of you guys have been asking so on to the first question Shin. this is not really a modeling question but a lot of people ask is this so this guy says do you have a place i can contact you i want you to help you help with my roblox Jitter game um my discord is mainly always capital m x k e hawk i mean capital m x k e and then under dash capital H A W K and then hashtag zero one five six. That's my Discord. I'm gonna have it on screen. But that's my Discord. Okay, next question is Am I are you for hire? I'm not for hire right now, but I'm sometimes for hire. But not right now. I'll mainly announce that in my Discord if I'm for hire second question is what graphics tablet do you use uh i'm not too sure like the exact tablet i use but one of the like i know it's a helion and it has a stand so it's a helion and it's like a canvas so you can draw directly on it so that's the tablet i use i don't really care i actually it's a canvas 12 i'm pretty sure that i have but you could get other um tablets to draw with all right so um the, the fourth or third question is can you make a tutorial over making stuff such as gloves sp lines and clothing cloths so i'm gonna do the sp lines first they're really easy so first you want to go in blender download my rig that i have in my resource resource tab in my uh, discord hide the arms hit shift a mesh plane rotate it uh 90 degrees on the x-axis bring it over to the torso scale it down add a mirror modifier add a shrink wrap modifier uh, add these settings right here project i mean project above surface negative target hit the torso make the offset more and then add subdivision surface modifier bring that over the shrink wrap now next you want to add the snap tool face align to target project individual elements and then now you're just going to begin to shape it so since the first lines on the sp torso they're bigger and more like they go out more so you're gonna extrude it scale it um rotate it scale it down scale it out a little bit uh, let me bring that down a little bit more bring this out and then scale it rotate it scale it rotate a little bit scale it scale it down rotate it scale it rotate it extrude rotate it scale it down i mean extrude down and then scale so since i don't have any abs to really reference it this is basically how you're going to do it on the back on the arms on the legs so that's basically how you do it and you could you could if you want to like this is not real but you could just put it all the way but next one he asks is how to do the gloves. Let me delete this. Hide the middle part. Now you get a cube. Bring it over here. Go into x-ray view. And then grab it down. Scale it on the x-axis. Make sure it's on the arm a little bit. And then go into x-ray. Scale it down. I mean drag it down bring these over here so it's on top of the hand 
actually I didn't I, take off snap modifier because I had that on and then like that and then bring this down a little bit and then bevel it and then bevel the sides go into edge select and then bevel these sides now if your bevels come become uneven like this this get out of edit mode and then hit shift a either scale um location rotation all transformations and then bevel it and you see you get a smooth edge and then delete the top scale it and you can add loop cuts rotations and you know you can bring this out you can bring this part out right here bring this part down it's out add some loop cuts right here and then get this part and then bring it down and then shade it smooth and that's how you make a basic glove after this you could add like a, a solidify modifier you can bring it all the way to the hand or you can just have it like that and then add a little thickness to it all right next question is can you make a tutorial making like weapons so I will probably do that soon but I I normally do not make weapons right now so if I decide to make weapons I'll surely make a video or a tutorial about it so you can stay tuned for that next question is quick question can you export this into Roblox I'm gonna just show you how to export anything to Roblox right quick Roblox Studios so all you want to do is box like this file export fpx name it something like anything and then make the select selected objects and scale 0 0.01 and then f export fpx and then go into your roblox studio get a new base plate and then you want to publish the new base plate with alt p or just go up here and publish create it close close and then once it's done publishing all right now you want to go to view asset manager import button right here and then go and search for the thing you want to export and then hit apply all and then it should load right here this should take if it's a lot of objects it should take a few minutes if it's just a little object like this should take around like 15 to 30 seconds so it's almost complete right now sometimes if you don't have the texture it will still import it but it won't the texture won't be there and then insert right click it select all these right click it and insert with location and then there it is if you color it in blender it won't transfer to Roblox studios so you will have to recolor this manually over again and that's how you export it into the Roblox Studios. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope this helped you. I'll see you later in the next video. Peace.